Hey everyone, sorry I didn't have a video last week. I ended up tabling at Sawsome Con and it was... We'll go with really last minute and just leave it at that. So the time I had set aside to do a quick little video last week didn't mm, happen. But Sawsome Con was fun. So, you know, that was, was that. And, you know, have a fairly exciting video, because today's video is, well, a new format, kind of. Medium. The word I'm looking for is medium. So, today, what I'm doing is, I'm trying to use acrylic, basically. <laughs> uh, because before I did this piece, I really hadn't used acrylic for anything beyond occasional highlights and like flat painting props and such so not really in an art sense since like middle school which was a while ago so decided to try and you know figure out how to use that of course didn't actually research how to use acrylic because why would I do that Instead, I just kind of ended up treating it like I do watercolor, just opaque. Which worked out alright. Um, so that was pretty much the inspiration of the piece was I wanted to have a background that was completely watercolor. And then something or someone in the foreground that would be at least mostly acrylic just, just for contrast. And also as a test for another piece that I plan on doing that's much larger for a reason, which we'll get into some other day. I went in, you know, pretty loose since... With no real idea in mind, since again, it was mostly to figure out how this works. And ended up with line art that I really liked, which was less than ideal to be honest. For the background, I, you know, went in with purple and was like, okay, this is a good, I like this color. And I wanted to add in some contrast and also use this liquid watercolor about ages ago but haven't used for anything. Which is the blue, obviously. <laughs> the, the glowing blue. And I really like liquid watercolor, it's just that I, or at least the literally once I've used it, which you're seeing now, I went in for the leaves and to add more detail-ish things to the rest of the background. And again, I really like it, but even for like sketching and things, I tend towards using tend to, tend towards wanting something that's fairly light fast, and the liquid watercolor just isn't. Which, again, should not be a concern when I'm just testing out a new medium and trying to do stuff, but... Again, even most of my sketchbooks, I'm, like, fairly... cognizant about that. Which is, you know, whatever. But anyways, now we get to the interesting part. So I knew that I wanted to have underpainting, and I knew that I wanted to keep the... You know, to figure out what the heck the lighting situation was going to be fairly early on, and that I wanted to keep the blue, at least, from the background and pull it forward, and honestly kind of wish I'd stopped there, because this looks really cool. But I did not, and we'll get to that in a bit. But yeah, I just mixed some, I think it was a cobalt blue, and I can't remember what the violet is. Uh, all of the acrylic paint that I'm using is just Liquitex Basics, because that's what I have. But at first I couldn't decide what I wanted to do skin color wise, like use, if I wanted to go in, like, um, 
goodness, there's a word for this. You know, like environmental color or just, you know, like sort of black color. So I ended up layering a bunch in some interesting ways. And could have stopped here. Would have been happy here. Didn't. Mixed together a more traditional skin tone. Layered it on top. Now she's green. This was a problem. And it also messed up, you know, hid some of the underpainting that I did, which was disappointing, because I liked that. And it was cohesive. But pretty much what I did was I kept layering on combinations of the skin tone and light blue, letting that dry, and yeah. Then I started the hair, which worked better because at that point I kind of knew what I wanted to be doing as opposed to guesswork. I think I started with the skin just because that's what I normally start with, just to have a reference point. And also because initially it was going to be the lightest shade, which isn't actually what ended up happening. Uh, the hair I decided to go with, you know, flat purple. And the skin I just kind of layered on white pretty much. And, you know, around the edges where there would be highlights and where I just wanted to differentiate piece parts that were not mayhaps as differentiated as they should have been. Which pulled her skin tone into somewhere that I liked, but still. She ended up way greener than intended, and like, if I wanted... It's like, if I wanted her to be green, she would have been, like, fully green. So she's... Her, her skin tone's just weird. Then I went in with a smaller brush and the shadows in the hair and again more differentiating of segments. Pretty much just like I do when I do well any hair, but especially digitally. Also decided to throw in and try to add in, you know, pupils and such for her eyes, which worked out again alright. Initially, the swirling parts of her dress and such were going to be silver, except that I didn't bring my silver down and, and decided that ultimately decided it wasn't unnecessary. So I painted them in blue and then used that same blue to go over the purple watercolor I initially used to used as, I guess, stand-in liner, just a color I knew would get covered up. And if it didn't, wouldn't clash. At first, I just went over the dress because I, I liked leaving it the white. And honestly, I kind of like it with parts of it without all of the end edges colored, but oh well. Too late. I already, already did it. And, you know, just for the accessories and the shoes, I ended up doing that. And... But then I decided I wanted to have some more differentiation between, you know, like her skin and the background again. Just because a lot of the places where her, where, you know, I had done the white for the outlines, it was starting to blend into the background. So I watered down the blue again and went over most of the most of the other outlines as well just to add some more distinction to it and again another layer of very very pale yep, there's that and before that I was adding a you know some pa very pale purple to the highlights of her hair and yeah that's really about it here's the finished piece it turned out pretty nifty and as always, thanks for watching!